the focus of this excursion is to show what we are working with within the research program FRAS. FRAS is a future silviculture of southern Sweden and it's a joint research program between three research organizations and the forestry sector. The people who are attending this uh, excursion, they will uh, go to six different uh, excursion points here in the forest of Krusenberg, where they will be presented with uh, what we do within the research program for us. I select this uh, excursion because I want to understand the different management of uh, Swedish forest and apparently they're doing all kinds of things, different civil cultural management and different ecosystem services values. It's really a good trip to learn all these things. As I always tell myself, I tell my students, the best way to learn is by seeing it, by doing it. I think being putting my body on the ground here is a way different. It's a much, much faster learning process for me and I can bring all this uh, what I learned from the field back to my classroom. I think the, the attendees here will bring uh, with them home is that we are working quite close together, the forest industry or the forest sector and researchers. Hopefully they enjoyed uh, watching a real forest with a mixture and discussing the problems uh, we are facing and the hopes we are and where we are believing uh, we will have in the future with, with an increased share of mixed uh, forest. I joined this trip because I was excited about an opportunity to come out actually into the forests of Sweden and learn more about how forestry is practiced here. I think that's one of the most interesting things about going to conferences, especially IUFRO, is to learn a little bit about how forestry is practiced in other countries. I've learned a lot so far just from our first stop about how rotation ages are determined, about the general regeneration practices that are used here in Sweden and how they are different and yet familiar to uh, systems that I'm familiar with in the U.S. Like like Lao Bali Pine in the southeast or Douglas fir in the northwest. All these Norway spruce and the scotch pines are so beautiful. Almost 100 years ago, U.S. introduced a lot of scotch pine, but I think scotch pine failed everywhere across the U.S. Now I see these beautiful scotch pines growing in natural stands. I think it will be very different. So the students will experience, for example, why native scotch pines are doing much better than introduced in U.S., North America. I think it's important to have these excursions in the forest because you often get a better discussion about the, the, the topics that we are, are looking at and, uh, and also you get a feeling for it in a different way that you would if you were inside in an office. Without a trip like this, uh, I'd have no opportunity to experience the forests and how forestry is practiced here which again is one of the, the biggest advantages of coming to a conference like this is not just to learn the science but then to actually get out into the forest and onto the ground and learn about how people practice forestry in other places. Mm -hmm.